They say that the stars are the streetlights of eternity. My name's Fred Bunch. I'm a resource management specialist at Great Sand Dunes National Park and Preserve, and we've been uh, monitoring the night sky for a while here. We always say, you have a right to starlight. The natural night sky is the world's most common and universal heritage. Our ancestors in every culture in the world had a strong connection with the night sky, using the sky's starry canvas to reflect what was important to them. The Sangre de Cristo International Dark Sky Reserve is working to protect our heritage here in Southern Colorado. The reserve straddles the 14,000 foot mountains. It stretches from Salida to the New Mexico line and from Alamosa to Westcliff. This uh, reserve would, would uh, enhance, celebrate, educate all the components of a dark sky. Welcome to the Pedro Trujillo Homestead. This is on the Medna Ranch west of the Great Sand Dunes. This was a homestead settled by the uh, Pedro Trujillo and his family. Long ago, the night sky was utilized by uh, farmers as kind of a source of, uh, of the calendar, like where we are here with the Trujillo Homestead, which is a national historic landmark. I'm sure those folks utilized the heavens to plan their annual cycle of events. Sailors and, and travelers would utilize the star, like the North Star like Polaris to help them with their bearings and understand exactly where they were and where they were headed. For instance, constellations such as the Big Dipper is only seen in the northern part of the sky. Stars were used to tell stories about the heroes and gods, animals and mythological creatures represented in the stars. Today we look up and see a night sky that is for the most part largely unchanged and intact as the first settlers and our ancestors saw it. It is a privilege very few people get to experience anymore. Now, eight out of 10 people in the world live under a light polluted night sky. Light pollution has led to a disconnect between humans and the night sky, our ancestors and humanity's shared heritage. To address this, people on the local, state, national, and global level are working to rekindle this connection through the dark sky movement in an effort to protect the night skies for present and future generations. The, the dark night sky is a really critical resource on so many levels, on the human uh, circadian rhythms, on wildlife and their travels, economically, uh, environmentally. It's really a key piece. We're very fortunate to have unimpaired night skies. You can help protect the night sky by only using lighting when and where it's needed, installing motion detectors and timers, and properly shielding all outdoor light. Together, the San Luis Valley and the people of Southern Colorado are learning to become not only stewards of our lands, but of our sky as well. To learn more about the Sangre de Cristo Dark Sky Initiative and about what you can do to protect the night sky, visit www.slvgo.com.